Yo guys, what is up? My name is Jurocraft, and before we get into the next crazy set of Minecraft projects, I wanted to share with you my obsession with custom-made items in Minecraft. As you know, I've created hundreds of these items in the past, and used them to flood the entire MMORPG survival server with all sorts of lootable treasures, dungeons, and even quest items. And this is the kind of thing I wish Mojang implemented into the game. I know not everyone would feel the same way, but I just love the idea of finding unique items and collectibles, as opposed to finding the same armor pieces over and over again. At the very least, it would be interesting if we could actually customize the armor sets. Now funny enough, I literally just googled this and apparently I'm really far behind on the Minecraft news because with Minecraft's new update, Trails and Tales, they are going to be adding a bunch of new pattern designs that allow you to create over 900 different combinations of armor styles and colors, which is pretty insane. I mean, just take a look at some of these designs, I honestly have no idea why I missed out on this piece of news. The only thing I heard about was hanging signs and cherry blossoms, but honestly, I love this idea, anything that adds more customization to the game definitely gets my attention and to be fair we're probably due another build tips and tricks video so if you're interested just let me know in the comments below but nonetheless, ever since I implemented some of these custom items, I've been getting countless requests on how to actually make them. And you might be surprised to find out you don't need any mods, learn how to code, or even have a degree in quantum mechanics. It's literally as easy as grabbing a command block and using a simple website that generates the commands for you, based on the different options you select. And with just a bit of creativity, you can have your very own overpowered killer carrots that sends your enemies into the stratosphere in a hurling ball of fire. Now of course there are some tips and tricks that you might want to know before we actually get started so I'm going to walk you through all the different steps and before you know it you can have your very own collection of custom potions, legendary artifacts and fresh ogre poop. So the link to this website can be found in the description below and the very first step is to select the item you wish to customize. This database should have every single item in the game currently up to Minecraft 1.19. You can also select the amount of copies you want the command block to generate and the next step is to click on show advanced options and this is where the magic happens. The first thing you can do is name the item. Here you can customize the text by highlighting the font and selecting some of the different options which also allows you to use different color combinations. Now unfortunately custom fonts don't actually work but using my big brain I found that you can use different languages and the cool thing about this is that you can use something like a runic translator or even a hieroglyph translator to add even more customization and symbolism. Just bear in mind that some translators work while others don't, so it's just a matter of trial and error. The same goes for the description of the item if you ever feel like adding some backstory to this killer carrot. Also, you might want to make sure to press enter to break up some of these sentences. If not, your item is going to turn out looking like this, as opposed to the much tidier version. The next step is to click on the enchantments tab. Now before you go absolutely crazy with this, you have to understand that some enchants work while others don't. It really depends on the item. So to give you an example, knockback, sharpness as well as the fire aspect enchantment pretty much work on every single item in the game. While of course enchantments like unbreaking only work on items that can actually break. Same goes for stuff like flame and infinity that would only work on bows. It's mostly common sense, but again it's also a bit of trial and error to find out what works and what doesn't. You might also want to know that the enchant levels appear as roman numerals and this only works from enchant level 1 all the way to enchant level 10 or X. After that we just end up with a literal sentence. Now the enchantment still does work but of course it just doesn't look as nice. The max enchant level is also 255 which of course is a bit ridiculous considering this totem with knockback 99 already sends this poor defenseless cow straight out of the max render distance. So once you've gone absolutely crazy on the enchants, you can then move over to the extras tab. Here you can make the item unbreakable, which again this only works on items that break. You can also add damage to the item as well as add extra enchant levels to the repair cost. 
So next you have the custom model data because of course you can create some custom models for your weapons and items. Unfortunately I still have to get around to learning how to do this but it's just another one of those things I wish Mojang would add to the game. I mean how amazing would it be to have different variations of tridents, custom weapons and items all with different stats and abilities. I mean maybe it's a bit of a far-fetched request but I really think Mojang should at least consider it. I mean let me know what you think in the comments below. So finally we can move over to the attributes tab. Here you can implement some unique extras to the item. Usually I like to focus on attributes like speed and max health. Granted you don't want to go too crazy on this. I mean just adding two speed points to the item sends you flying across the entire custom built survival map in just a matter of seconds. So you might want to stick to using 0.1 or 0.2 if you want to keep things realistic. I mean frankly I like to use as little as 0.02 to allow more items to have the same enchantment because this effect does stack across multiple items. So once you're done customizing, literally all you have to do is copy this entire command line and paste it into the command block and just like that you have officially become Thanos. Now the crazy part about this website is the fact it comes with multiple tools which allow you to not only create custom items but also custom mobs, enchant books, pre-filled chests, banner generators, it's honestly incredibly useful. Now one of my favourite tools is of course the custom potion generator which does follow a similar concept. Just select the type of potion you want to use, add as many effects as you like, give the potion a name and description and you can even add the fire aspects enchantment if you feel like it fits with a general theme. I mean I've created a bunch of potions myself like the vampiric blood potion that grants you night vision and levitation among other things. Or if you want to really annoy people just create an unknown potion which appears to have no effects but they are actually hidden. This can be done by clicking on the extras tab and simply swapping this option from visible to hidden. And yes I normally use this potion to troll people on the server and I'm pretty sure people find it super annoying as this potion not only gives you blindness but dizziness and probably induce some level of motion sickness. But hey at least it's not as bad as the potion of instant death. Now I do understand that it does take a certain amount of creativity to come up with unique ideas that make sense and actually work. If that's something you struggle with then I highly recommend you check out websites like Wowhead which have the entire database of World of Warcraft items, weapons, armor sets. I mean I wouldn't recommend copying the names entirely but you can definitely use different databases from popular games to at least get some inspiration and simply mix up different combinations of descriptions and titles. I really hope this video gives you a head start and don't forget to like and subscribe. 